Is Lake Garda a good alternative to Lake Como? Let's go find out. Lake Garda is a lake in Lombardy, a northern region of Italy. We stayed in Sermione, a small town sitting on the very end of the Sermione Peninsula on the lake. Known for its thermal waters and medieval castle, Sermione was a great base for our four days on the lake. From the Alps of Switzerland now to Lake Garda in Italy, it's a lot warmer here, but my God, it is beautiful. It's so nice. We just did a really lovely 25 minute boat trip, which was 10 euros, just taking us to the top sites, which was lovely. And it dropped us off at the cutest little spot. Loving it here. We've stayed at, um, we've gone a little bit extra and splashed out. We're staying at a lovely hotel here mm. called Villa Cortini. <laughs> you have gone long on the accommodation <laughs> here, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Spectacular. I feel like I'm staying in a castle, but well, I think it is a palace. <laughs> You've been looking forward to this accommodation the whole trip, so it is very special. It is a little bit fancy, but it's certainly worth it, I think. It's amazing. It's such a good experience. So all we've done is old, sort of the old town. I think that's all we're going to do while we're here in Sermione. Sort of, we might do a day trip, but we'll see where it takes us. We look forward to showing you. About five weeks into our European road trip, we took the opportunity to relax and regroup in Lake Garda. We really treated ourselves to a special stay at Villa Cortini Palace Hotel. This hotel is in a beautiful and exclusive spot within the historic centre of Sermione. The hotel had amazing sprawling manicured gardens with a view of the lake, along with a pool and private jetty for sunbathing and enjoying cocktails. The breakfast was super luxurious and varied and there is also a Michelin restaurant in the hotel. P.S. We are not sponsored by this hotel, we just really, really enjoyed our stay. You simply would not get this quality of hotel in Lake Como for the price that we paid. This is one of the benefits of staying in Lake Garda if you're in the Italian Lakes District. We would recommend booking as far in advance as you can to get the best possible deal. There are loads of swimming spots around the peninsula of Sermione. We mostly swam from our hotel jetty, but there are plenty of public beaches to choose from. The water is crystal clear and shallow and pretty chilly because of the alpine water. So we're at Castello Scali Legro, which is the castle in Sermione. It's one of the top things to do in Lake Garda. It was only six euros per person. We didn't have to book and there was no line. It's not too busy here. Definitely worth it for the view, sprawling views of Sermione and Lake Garda in general. Super cool. So it's the best existing remnants of a fortress in the Lake Garda area. After a couple of days of recharging in Sermione, we hopped in the car and did a mini Lake Garda road trip. Our first stop was Limon Sulgada, which is the northernmost town of the Brescia side of the lake. Until the 40s, this town was only accessible by lake or a hike through the mountains. Because of this, the architecture has a very authentic feel, despite being a tourist hotspot. We then jumped back into the car for a scenic drive along the coast of the river to the town River del Garda. The drive took us about 15 minutes and there was plenty of parking in town.
This was by far our favourite part of the lake as the lake really slims out at this point and you're surrounded by mountains with the backdrop of the Dolomites. The medieval Torre Apanile sits upon an amazing view and the town itself is made up of pastel coloured buildings. This spot also just didn't feel as touristic as the other towns that we visited on the river. We're here right now and where we're staying is Sermione which is here so it's literally on the other end of the lake but it goes much more narrow at this end so it's really beautiful and picturesque down here when you've got the high mountains on each side. On the drive home we stopped off at an amazing viewpoint just off the side of the road at Nago Taboli. This was seriously a postcard view of the lake. This view doesn't even look real, it's like a postcard. It's unbelievable. So, how does Lake Garda measure up to Lake Como? In our opinion, if you're a first time visitor to the Lakes District, Lake Como is an unbeatable spot. However, Lake Garda is most certainly worth a visit. If you're after a few days of luxury, Lake Garda is a much more affordable destination and it still offers breathtaking scenery.